What did you say? He said Caesar is great. There's a curfew. Do not be seen on this street again, Jew. But we must buy food for Passover. Buy it then, and get off this street. If I were a younger man, you surely would have taught him a lesson. The streets are buzzing, Caiaphas. It's this time of year. Jews come to Jerusalem from all the precincts. And I will tell you, Caiaphas, I have a son. He's three years old. Back in Rome, I miss him. I want to get back to him. It is your job to keep the peace here in Armithia. What are you trying to tell me? My soldiers have arrested four troublemakers, so-called um, prophets. Do you understand me? If I hear of someone else, I'll hand them over to you. You have no power to arrest. How does it feel a Jew handing over a Jew to Roman authorities? It doesn't feel good. But my responsibility is to protect the law of our people, the law of God. And if I'm wrong, and one of those prophets is a real messiah, Let history judge me. Let history judge. Good. Hmm. What have we done to deserve such a fate? For heaven's sake. What's wrong? Gamaliel, must he be late on a day like this? But it's not his nature to be late. Well, this is not a day to start. But the Roman soldiers are everywhere. Maybe we should consider his safety first. I'm sure he's safe. It's just that I say a prophesied that the Messiah would come during these times. Why won't the other rabbis just accept that? Do you believe that this dark-skinned Nazarene is really him? I, I don't know, Nicodemus. But one thing I am sure of, if this Yeshua is indeed the Messiah, I fear we may be too late.
underneath you. My deliverance shall happen here, my brother. Today begins Passover, Master. The Romans would not dare violate this holy holiday. Peter, to those who seek to harm the Messiah, today is just another day. I do not believe the Romans would want to disturb the peace. I'm afraid Thaddeus may be right, Peter. Are we there yet, Master? I'm tired. I can't journey much farther. <laughs> Too much complaining from you. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should carry this young girl into Aramithia. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go. by the sword, Judas, dies by the sword. Centurion guards are all over Aramithia. Shouldn't we have the feast somewhere more secure? Do you question my love for you, John? Do you think I would place you in harm's way? No, I... Then I... go and trust in me. I'm Good. sorry, Master. Good. Now, when you enter town, you'll observe a man carrying a pitcher of water. You will follow him to his house. There, you will ask the good men of the house Tell him that the Son of God has sent you and wishes to know where he shall eat the Passover meal with his disciples. Okay, go. Oh, wait. Leave this. Mother said you'd have the chair fixed before feast time. Don't worry, I'll get to it. By the way, where's your mother? Ah, she's at market, Papa, but it's almost sundown, and we have all the chametz to still remove from this place and so many preparations to do before then. Lord, the one trait my daughters inherit from their mother. Ah, they worry too much. Oh, Papa, I'm sorry. Don't worry, my dear daughter. Will you be having Seder with us tonight? No, Papa. Ruth and I must be with our husbands. We have only come to help Mama. Marry off my daughters, and now they have no time for me. Mm, <gasps> Ezra, you know that's for say there. But I'm hungry now, Leah. Ah. Ezra, what do you think God thinks of such disrespectful behavior? Sorry, Papa. You go wash up so you and father can dip yourselves in holy water before you eat. That's right, son, the mikvah, a very important ritual in our religion. Oh. Hi, Papa. Where's Mama? She's out to market. May I ask you a question, Papa? Sure, son. It's about Yeshua. Continue. I am a young man. And I know that you have done everything to protect us. But I was thinking, maybe I should join Yeshua. Out of the question, we we'll break your mother's heart. I understand that he has a prophecy to fulfill. But why didn't he include me? Let me explain, James. Your older brother loves you very much. But these are dangerous times. 
and he understands his sacrifice is his alone. Do you understand? Yes, Papa. I understand. In time, your role will come. Pardon my delay. My way here was delayed. Roman soldiers. Who else? More came to town, doubling their numbers. They are relentless in their search for the Black Nazarene. Rumor is he's hiding somewhere in the hills. It may take weeks for them to find him. This is no good. What is wrong? We have been informed that there will be an emergency meeting of the entire Sanhedrin body tonight. But I, I was not informed Hear of me, it. Gamaliel. The entire membership is being contacted as we speak. They think they're in near to capture this Nazarene. It may be as early as tonight. But how? Caiaphas has eyes everywhere. You mean he hired a spy? Yes, one of the Nazarene's disciples. And our fear is that this man's capture may lead to more violence on the streets. You both know how I feel about this carpenter. I have heard him lecture before. He knows the Torah better than most rabbis I know. I find him to be a very learned man. But he's black. And to say that he is the Messiah, it is blasphemy. The Torah does not mention as to what he will look like. Not to mention that he is still a Jew, regardless of his skin color. Passover, the worst time of year. What's next for you, Horatio? Uh, keep the peace for seven days in Armitia. Then I go back to my beloved Rome. Eh? Jews, you cannot trust them. Carries water. He carries carpet. Perhaps our master should heal your eyes. There. There is the servant we are to follow. Come. In a hurry, citizens? Only to get my friend out of the city. He sure is to collapse if I don't get him home quickly. He speaks the truth. The feast will bring me welcome relief. Don't let me see you again. Unless you celebrate your feast in chains. My friend, might I ask if we could get a message to your master? I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Please! Our master has sent us uh, the Messiah. Wait here. Yes? Can I help you? Our master has sent us with a message. And what is the message? He wishes to know where he will eat the Passover meal with his disciples. Come, quickly! Come! Is it all right? Is it good? Thank you for opening your home to us. And we apologize for any inconvenience. Oh, please, not to worry. Let the Messiah know that I'm humbly grateful that he has chosen my home for this ceremony. I will tell him. Thank you.
We come here. We come here. Why here, Rabbi? Open clean space to honor the Passover. What's wrong, Peter? I'm tired of running around like rats. Having to hide in these mountains. Not being able to sleep in one place for more than one night. We knew there'd be a price to pay for the truth, Peter. At least if there were Romans, there'd be some excuse. But not Jews. Rabbis. Blessed are ye when men shall persecute you. We have enough water to last us till tomorrow. Some sheep, some dried fish. Good, good. Take Simon with you. Patrol the hillside. Make sure everything's safe. Simon! I'm still not to worry, Peter. My father has led us here. Pray. After we have pitched tent, gather the rest. Yes, Master. Make sure the sheep are fed. He's a wild one, Master. Such beautiful fur. If only mankind would embrace that which is different. Black sheep. traveling all night. Who do you think gets to sleep in the tent tonight? The sheep, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that steady, Matthew. For heaven's sake, don't miss! <laughs> Your right hand, Matthew, has always been a bit useless. Perhaps if I miss, he'll be able to develop the left. <laughs> You're funny, Matthews. Hey! Can, can you people help us? It, it is not fair that only two people set up the tent while the rest work. Oh, no, Matthew's right. He shouldn't be the only one to get his finger crushed. <laughs> Two feet, one hand, no brain. He's a Centurion guard. <laughs> Thaddeus has a reputation in Jerusalem for breaking hands. <laughs> no, even my hand was broken. Oh. <laughs> That's for not paying your taxes. <laughs> Stay there, Matthew. I'll crush your hand later. Matthew is right. We must all help. Good neighbors. It reminds me of a story our master told us. The story of the good Samaritan. Oh, come on. Get out with the story. It worked for our master. The master's a better storyteller than you. Yes, that is true. But I'm a better cook. That's not funny. <laughs> Why so quiet, Bartholomew? I really love these times. <laughs> I understand. You know, the beauty of family is that when I first started following our master, I had just one brother. Now, I have 12. Come, come on. Come, quickly. Hurry. Hurry. Where are you two followed? We were extra careful and took a back road. Good. Where is our master? 
He's up here. He's waiting for you. Come quickly. Sorry to bother you, Master. My father can be very selfish with our daily conversations. What news do you bring? The goodman has sent word that he would be honored to have your presence in his home. Good. Gather the rest. I don't leave now. That might be late for mikvah. Come, James, hurry. You all be sure to be careful. Please. Don't worry. We'll be careful. James, take Ezra into the courtyard, please. Yes, Father. Come. Look, Mary, we can't change what is. I know how you're feeling. I would like him here as much as you. But he's not ours anymore. But I feel it is we who have let him down this path. Stop blaming yourself for what is happening. We knew this day would come. Nothing can prepare a mother for something like this, Joseph. 33 years ago, you told me that you felt something happening inside of you. And I truly believe that God did touch you that night. Somehow, something divine happened, and you were chosen among all the women you dear to carry the chosen one. Do you think they're doing this because he's black? No. They're doing this because he's the Messiah. Master, may I ask you a question? You may, Thomas. How does it feel to be a difference. <laughs> In my father's eyes, Thomas, we are all different. Yet we are all the same. My mother, a very glorious woman, when she was pregnant with a child. With you, Master? <laughs> I'm afraid so. She was denied lodging at a local inn in Bethlehem because she was so different. She was forced to give birth in a major. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry, Thomas? Because I, I understand. Because I am a poor fisherman, and I've been mistreated because of it. My father was right. We are all of the same. But you will find that when you are righteous, kings will find you and kneel at your feet. Father's will, that is. Thank you, Messiah. 
for gracing our home with your presence. I am humbled. You are blessed. Stand. Show me to your master. Blessings upon you, good man. Shall you share a feast with us? I would like nothing better, Rabbi, but this is your time, and I dare not intrude. Besides, I must go downstairs and watch the door. My servant here will assist in anything else you may need. Thank you. Adonai Elohenu Melech HaOlam Ore Pri Hagafen. Today, my loved ones, we sit together in remembrance of our exodus as Jews from slavery in Egypt. My father instructed the Israelites of old to place the blood of a virgin lamb on their doorpost. And only then the plague smiting the firstborn in all of Egypt would pass over them. Today, and for seven days, we sit in remembrance of this glorious Passover. But there is another reason we have gathered tonight. Verily I say unto you, one of you shall betray me. What? what? No. Master. No. Earlier in the garden, my father spoke with me and told me that one of you that dips in the sop with me shall betray me. No, master, it's impossible. Everyone at this table loves you. Do you call my father a liar, Thomas? No. Master, who is this traitor? Is it me, master? Is it me, master? Who would do this? His hands are indeed at this table. Whoever this traitor be, let him reveal himself now, before any harm comes to our master. For soon I promise you, that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed, you wish he had never been born. How do we know the traitor isn't you, Peter? Peter? I question you, Thomas, for whom it came so hard to accept the Messiah in the first place. Mm -hmm. 
Do you really wish to kill me, Peter? Master. Please stop this. Peter. Enough. My father shall deal with the traitor in his own way. All I needed was a little more time. But my hour draws near. We don't understand, Master. You have always been so naive, John. You will come to understand that through my death will come much life. The sins of the world will be washed away. We all love you, Master. And I believe every man here would give his life for you. Master. We have all loved you for years. What makes you think that we would ever, ever do anything to hurt you? Nonsense! Absolute nonsense! Do you think you love him more than us, Peter? Not more than I! I love him more than any of you ever will. Black Nazarene and his followers take a noisy feast. There is a reward for his capture. Come. You tell us, Master, who among us loves you more? And who in death shall be next to you in your father's kingdom? James, how can you ask the Messiah such a question? We've all been thinking about it. Whispering it among ourselves for weeks now. I think we have a right to know. Let him speak. Continue, James. Master, it is clear you love us all. But we wish to know, who is the greatest among us twelve? Greatest? For who is great? He that sits at the table. Or he that serves. He who is greatest among you shall be the one who chooses to serve. And I will appoint unto him that servant, a kingdom as my father has given to me. After I am gone, you will continue to serve mankind with the teachings I have given you. Then, and only then will you share in my glory. Remove your sandals so that I may wash your feet. Do you not obey your master, Peter? Master, 
I will never let you wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, Peter, then you will have no part of me. In that case, don't just wash my feet. Wash my hands and my head as well, so that I may have all of you. You need only wash your feet, Peter, and you are clean. Some of you will never be clean. Some say he shows the tendencies of, of a cult leader. Possibly he is the Messiah. But Nicodemus, how can you abandon the teachings of the Torah and even suggest that? I said possibly. A prophet, he might be, but a messiah as foretold by the Torah? The very Torah tells us the messiah will descend from the line of David. And so? And this man is from that very lineage. As were countless others. But he was also born in Bethlehem, as was fore foretold by the prophets. Rabbis, these two have word where the Black Nazarene has taken refuge. Is that true? Yes, Rabbi. We've seen him with our own eyes. I've already notified the prefect. You may leave us. Tell us what you have seen. There's a small matter of reward for information on a false prophet. Five pieces of silver. If your information leads us to the man we seek. The Nazarene travels with 12 followers. Are they armed? Forgive me, fellow rabbis, but perhaps we should notify Caiaphas immediately. Caiaphas will be quick to respond. We need to know if they are armed, lest we send soldiers to seize them that may be overpowered and slaughtered. Do you want their blood on your hands, Gamaliel? This day may be our last Passover together. It is just a matter of time before I am captured and killed. We'll be met with swords before we let that happen. It is too late, Peter. This is the cup of my blood. The blood of the everlasting life. will be given up for you and for all men. Do this in memory of me.
the spread is not just bread. It is my body, which shall be given up for you. Share in my flesh. Have any of you seen a black Jew? He travels with a dozen men. A black Jew? I've seen no black Jews. Search the house. Hmm? Death, you best answer in truth. If I find that you are lying, on my word, soldier, I've seen no one. We were just having Passover dinner. My father speaks the truth, really. There's no one like that here. Please. Parisians, we searched the house. Nothing. I promise to seek you out if I should see him. Please. Jews. Go! Father, what's so special about tonight? Because on this night, we celebrate our freedom as Jews, each of us, as though Moses had led us out of the wilderness only yesterday. Where is he? We have not seen him. You lie. He is my son, yes. But do you see him here with us? We gave him up a long time ago. Search the house. Yes, Horatius. It has begun. Our time left here is short, my loved ones. We must leave quickly. We will see you safely, master. Peter, Peter, Satan demanded to have you so that he may sift through you like wheat. But I pray for you. It never will. You heard my word, Rabbi. I'll always be by your side. What if I told you that before the rooster crows twice tonight, you shall betray knowing me three times? Peter, deny you, Lord. Oh, Peter. I didn't see any of us deny you before Peter. Please. Please, Master. Don't tell me this. But I shall pray for you. How can Peter's faith be shaken? I don't understand this. You will all fall away. I saw the good man in the house allow him in, where the other of his group stood and watch. Rabbis, they make their Passover right now. 
You must send soldiers for them quickly before they can escape. It is true. Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus. I really should. Must I hear from the Romans that Nazarene has been found? Is it true? Yes, Rabbi Caiaphas. It is true. These two have seen him. I kept insisting we should bring him in. Is this true? Yes. We believe it is him. This imposter is a threat to all of us. Amaril, order the guard to take five soldiers and follow this man to the house. Maureen hides this blasphemer. Master, this way. Go. You'll fear the lashments will wait for this good man. Hmm? Gladly. What's wrong, Judas? Rabbi. Maybe I should pick up some supplies for us. Where shall you and the rest be that I may find you? Kassem. I love you, Master. Judas, your way is not my way. But you go do what you must do. Is it him? Judas. Judas. Yet, you let him steal all our donations and run off to betray you. What is to be fulfilled, we cannot stop. Disappeared into the darkness. Marcus, you take several soldiers head towards the eastern hillside. The rest of us, we'll go north. Let's go. Disperse! They will be found. Breathe the sound, Raider. He had in betrayal, he is glorious. And if it was not for our master, I would open your throat. Yes! Judas, what are you doing here? The streets are dangerous. Come with me quickly, lest you be discovered as one of your true followers. Come. I hold you both accountable for allowing this heretic to slip through our fingers. Herod will know of this. We are keepers of the Torah. We should not involve Rome in a strictly Jewish issue. This carpenter has incited difficulties ever since he came to the district. The Romans will make it their problem. As if their presence in Judea wasn't enough already. I have seen their centurion guards march about this place as if it was their own backyard. Let's give them no more reason. Gentlemen, I'm not convinced that this Yoshua of Nazareth is the threat he's purported to be. It is true, Rabbi. We've seen so many false prophets. What makes this man different than any man who claims to be the Messiah? Surely. How many such men have we, we seen in recent years? Ten? Twenty? What makes this carpenter and his army of twelve fishermen such a terrible threat? You wish to see the difference? Go! Look outside and see the difference! Now is not the time, Judas. When is it even the time? Where are the others? Is Yashua all right? As best I know, yes. He and the others escaped into the hillside, towards Gethsemane. Why did you not go with them? Yeshua sent me for supplies. If not for you stopping me, I'd be at the marketplace. Mary Magdalene, 
Why do you stare at me so? I know Yashua loves you greatly. Why would he risk sending you into town? I told you he sent me for supplies. Where are your supplies? I had no time in the crowd. I feared for my life. If you were on your way to the temple precinct, would you betray him, Judas? My actions would never betray him. Only force his hand. To following your way? It is the only way. Violence is the only language these Romans speak. It is foolish to think we could drive him out of Judea by spreading brotherhood and performing miracles. They laugh at us! But trust me, they will not laugh when they feel the sting of a thousand Jewish swords. And then what? They will send a whole army to overpower you. Then we'll raise a bigger army. His way was foretold by the scriptures, Judas. Do you doubt he is the Messiah? I believe he may be. But it is his passive ways I find fault with. Judas, he is a man of peace. Peace won't drive out the Romans. His way will succeed much faster than your army of zealots. You say that only because it is easier to love a Messiah than a fisherman. What is it you see in him that is not in me? The truth. And here is my truth. Fine. Would you like a feast your master has yet to enjoy? The Kala speaks for the Messiah as a man of peace. Yes! Peace to strength and power! Absolute glory! You come with a mighty king, arriving on horseback, leading a great army of warriors. Where is this Nazarene's army? I see only an army of fishermen. Who is this black Nazarene think he is? Oh, he proclaims that he rules over the kingdom of heaven. A kingdom of dark-skinned Jews. Well, I will be a part of no such king. Yes! Nothing good ever came from Nazareth. Go, Abaddon, go! Go tell them! Tell Caiaphas what you know about this false prophet. Tell him, tell him everything. Tell him, Abaddon. He blasphemes. Where's Mama? Shh. Mama is resting. Come help us. <gasps> what business do you have here, woman? I wish to speak to you. What does she want? Tell her to go. There is no room for sinners here. Oh, tend to your mother. But Papa, she... now. Speak. I have come in hopes of saving the life of your son. What about my son? Judas goes now to betray him to the Sanhedrin. Judas, but my own hands are. There is no time. Can we must hurry and warn the Messiah. He and his followers have seek refuge in the mountains, Gethsemane. How do you know this? With us tonight. You did what? Only to delay the peak so that Yeshua would have more time to escape. But I cannot stand in judgment of the profession by which you've chosen to live your life, Mary Magdalene. But my son did forgive your sins, and he is greater than us all. Thank you. We must hurry, or I will get noticed. Mary will accompany you.
My mother is hurt the most. She understands the journey I have taken, the journey that I must take, because I love you. I love you too, Thomas. My father loves you. But she is a woman of old, and I'm her youngest son. I hope she doesn't think I'm a disappointment. A disappointment, Thomas. You have been chosen to carry my message. How can that be a disappointment? It is my father's message. And when I am long gone, men will speak of us. How the Son of God came to fulfill a prophecy with the help of twelve chosen men. But, Master, my mother thinks I've left my fishing nets behind to take up with a false prophet. That I have given up my real service. Is that what you believe, Thomas? Master, I believe in you with every fiber that is me. I know you've all been under a great deal of strain. The running, the hiding. There are rumors that they are looking for us, and we might be killed. Are you afraid? I am. Who else among you is afraid? This grain of wheat. If I throw it on the ground, there it will lie and die. But only when it dies can it bear fruit. In my death, there will be life. Have you brought all of us here to die, Master? They are looking for us. But they only want me. <laughs> Master, it is not safe. Master, do not leave us yet. It is still early. I have to go speak with my father. Perhaps I should accompany you, Master. Tonight, much danger lurks in the darkness. And we'll go as well. Come. Tell us about this Yoshio, since you speak so publicly of him. My neighbor is a blind man, and has always been so. This Nazarene came upon him and laid hands on him. And all at once, my neighbor could see. This is sacrilegious! He should be arrested! There is no crime in restoring sight to a blind man. It is a buzzing that the man be seen. Shh! Continue. After restoring the man's sight, the Nazarene told him of a kingdom in heaven where he would have everlasting happiness. See, this Nazarene speaks nothing against the Torah. I profess to you, Caiaphas, this Yeshua is nothing forgive more me, than... Forgive me, Rabbi. But there is more. Let him speak. Continue. This Yoshua from Nazareth, this false prophet, said the only way to enjoy the kingdom of heaven is through him. Through him? <laughs> <laughs> what, he's a gatekeeper? <laughs> he said through him because he is the son of God. Oh, oh, the son of God. He, oh, be he, said, he blasphemes! Are you sure those were the Nazarene's exact words, Abaddon? I swear on my own life. You see, Rabbis, this is what was meant by the vision had by Isaiah in the Talmud. You are most insightful, young Joshua. Yes. Tell us, Joshua, 
How is it that a boy of 12 could have so much knowledge? My knowledge of the scriptures is granted by my father. It could be said that all knowledge is granted by God. How is it that your knowledge rivals the wisdom of rabbis who have devoted their entire lifetimes to study? Because I am the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> You may speak, Rabbi. I, I know three men that the so-called king laid hands on. One of them, Lazarus, brother to Martha and Mary of Bethany, was supposedly brought back to life. I've heard the rumors. But there is but one who has the power to summon a cold body up from the grave and breathe life into it. He speaks the truth. No godly man would awaken a body from its grave. After the almighty God, in all his wisdom, has taken him. He's bold. Crazy. And there are more stories like this. And what do you think now? I thought so. Waiting for you, Judas of Iscariot. Have you come to tell us their location? I have. Where are they hiding? In Gethsemane. Gethsemane? A dozen poor fishermen hiding in Gethsemane? Tell us, Judas. Gethsemane is a place of rest and relaxation visited by only the wealthy. Why would fishermen hide there? Maybe he figures it's a place where we wouldn't think to look. He is very clever. You've done very well, Judas of Iscariot. The agreement was for 30 pieces of silver, correct? I can't stand it, watching you go through this. I can't we just make our way up the Kidron Valley. Leave here. And then what? If only I could. I don't want any part of it. Sitting here like sheep, waiting for them to take you away. Do you really love me, Peter? With all my heart. You know I do. You take this while I go pray. Yeah. 
believe and I tell you I saw it Heli Heli and I tell you I saw it it's Really care, Peter. I don't understand. I ask you to wait for me, to watch over me for one hour while I go speak with my father. And you couldn't even do that. We were Excuses. just a little. All I ever hear. Fisherman prophet who rides a donkey. Today they cheer the man who trade. Who can understand these Jews? As a man, I must have my views heard. This Yeshua of Nazareth is nothing but a carpenter with a gift of the knowledge of the scriptures. Perhaps he is plagued with a mental deficiency which causes him to think that he is the Messiah. Where is the harm? 
He's able to convince only his fisherman followers and a, a sprinkling of others. A sprinkling of others? Rabbis, I fear that you have both spent far too long in this temple. The Nazarene and his disciples, they are known far and wide. He is turning the opinion of thousands. He is just one man. You speak of him as if he is the king of Jews he professes himself to be. Maybe you dispute what's written what? in the Torah. Why, why Yosef of God Shh, 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 quiet! Robbies, get hold of yourselves. We merely sent for him. We're not sentencing him. It's one and the same. It is my wish. If I may suggest, Caiaphas, that whatever are the opinions of us in here, we bring him in for his own safety. The crowds would kill him if they found him first. How much further? I hope we're not too late. The Romans and their heavy armor and boots cannot get along these paths as easily as we can. They must travel a different road. We will get to Gethsemane before they do. How is it that you know of this path? Many wealthy men spend time in Gethsemane. When they desire my company, they'd much rather be in places unseen. Go! How armed are these fishermen? His men have but four swords among them. But they will not fight. A group of fishermen with four swords and no will to fight? I could have carried this mission out myself. <laughs> Horatius, do you remember Marius? Large man, red hair, trained us in the lance. Oh, yes, I remember him. Always joked about killing Jews with his lance. He washed over in our journey here. A shame. He was a man who was born to his work. Lucky he did not live to see this day. Roman officers being sent by Jews to capture Jews. What has our empire become? No. No. Having second thoughts, Judas? Hmm? Always happens to traitors. What is it, you? What is it? I know a shorter way. Go! One last commandment to you all. Anything, Master. After I die, my work and message must not die. They will win only if they succeed in silencing my message. Mistaken. What do you want us to do? James, John, my sons of thunder. You will speak in my voice, and you will tell the others that they must sell everything of value so that they can spread my message. All of you, outside Jerusalem, towards Syria, Asia, past the Black Sea, the Mediterranean, and so on. But how? There are only 12 of us. 12 shall become a thousand. A thousand, ten thousand, and a million. 
and more. We will do this. Good. My message will not die. Which of you is Yosha of Nazareth? I am he. He lies. I am Yoshua. You are not black enough, Jew. Arrest them all! Protect yourselves! I will come peace. Time to meet your future, Nazarene. Let's go. You may ask. How does it feel to be a difference? <laughs> In my father's eyes, Thomas, we are all different. Yet we are all the same. Yeah. 